Hello, welcome to Agronomy for Future. This YouTube channel is linked to Agronomy for Future website. For more details, please visit agronomyforfuture.com. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Agronomy for Future. Since today, I'll explain simple linear regression model. There are lots of information about linear regression on websites, but I believe I'll tell you about what most people don't mention. My philosophy on data analysis and statistics is to fully understand the concept, not simply follow what software programs say. Therefore I usually calculate statistical concepts by hand, and only when my hand calculation is exactly same as the software programs provide, I say I understand the concept. In this context, I'll introduce simple linear regression with five different parts. First, correlation. Second, slope and intercept of linear regression model. Third, standard error of slope and intercept. Fourth, t-value on slope and intercept. And finally r-squared also called coefficient of determination. If you follow those five parts step by step, I guarantee, you can completely understand simple linear regression model as a whole picture like this. First of all, I'll introduce what correlation is. Correlation is a statistical measure that expresses the extent to which two variables are linearly related. To understand correlation, first we need to understand covariance. Covariance is a statistical measure to show the relationship between two random variables and to what extent they change together. Generally speaking, correlation and covariance is the same concept. Only difference is the ratio of standard deviation of x and y. I'll explain why. This is the equation of covariance. Let's calculate covariance by hand. Here is one data. According to amount of nitrogen fertilizer, I investigated how yield is changed. I'll calculate covariance according to the equation. First, I calculated deviation x and y. Second, let's multiply each deviation x and y. Third, let's add up all values. Finally, if the sum of all values is divided by n minus 1, where n is sample size, it's covariance. What does this 375 indicate? Do you think if this value is bigger, it would be good to explain the relationship between two variables? Let's draw each deviation x and y in the quadrant. For example, when deviation x is minus 20 and y is minus 34, the box would be like figure 1. If we combine all boxes together, we can obtain this figure. All boxes are located at second and fourth quadrant. What does it indicate? It indicates that there is a positive relationship between two variables. To determine whether it's positive or negative relationship, do you think the box size important? No, it's not. The important thing is where the boxes are located. Therefore, covariance value 375 itself would not be the main issue, but whether the value is positive or negative would be the main issue. This is equation of correlation. When we usually talk about correlation, it's about Pearson's correlation coefficient. Pearson's correlation coefficient basically measures the strength of the linear association between two quantitative variables x and y. I told you before that correlation and covariance is the same concept. Only difference is the ratio of standard deviation of x and y. Please look at the equation. You saw this equation before. Numerator is the equation of covariance. Denominator is multiplication between standard deviation x and y. That's why I told only difference between correlation and covariance is the ratio of standard deviation of x and y. Therefore, simply we can express correlation like this. Just forget this equation. Simply we can say, correlation is covariance divided by multiplying standard deviation x and y. Let's verify our hand calculation is correct. It's the same as what we calculated. Now we can understand what correlation is and how it can be calculated. Our next step is to understand slope in linear regression model. The slope is related to correlation. Therefore, in the next part, I'll explain how to calculate slope in linear regression model. For more information, please visit
agronomyforfuture.com. Thank you.